If you look at the B route and the X route, they really run similar looking routes, but there's a different break point and there's a different angle. But the B route, you can see, I mean, he just cooks this particular defender and he's a very easy one play touchdown. As you can see, that X route is wide open again. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff the Mad Cheese, as always. Got part two of my run and gun offense that I just put out yesterday. If you guys didn't catch the run plays, I will have a link in the description if you guys want to check that out. But I got a one play touchdown for every single defense in the game in today's video. Uh, so make sure to stick around for that. Other than that, the formation I'm in again is the Gun Trips TE. I'm using the Cardinals because I just feel like they work well with a, with a spread offense. Um, as far as the pass plays go, I might show two today, but I'm not really sure. The one that I know I'm going to show, though, is going to be the halfback swing. This play right here, like I said, it's a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game. Let's go ahead and start off by picking that. But before we do, I'm just going to make sure that I have my fastest receiver in this spot, not necessarily my best receiver, although realistically, it would work the same way with uh, DeAndre Hopkins. He's just a little bit overpowered because of his route running and stuff like that. So I'd much rather have a lesser and faster receiver. Other than that, let's go ahead and let's pick the play one more time. Like I said, I can do a whole breakdown of this offense if you guys want to see it. Hit the like button in the comment section. But the play is going to be the halfback swing. On the defensive side, we're just going to start off with cover two like we always do and work our way back. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOH.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up and support the channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below. Just discount code money. Get 3% off whatever products you buy. They also sell uh, 2K stuff, FIFA stuff, uh, whatever sports games you like. Rocket League. They have something for everything. So if you're playing these games a little bit more than you're playing Madden right now, check them out and you just count code money with three percent off whatever you buy on their site now i'm going to run a lot of these plays from the hash mark either uh the the to the open side of the field or the short side of the field but ultimately it really doesn't matter you can run these plays from anywhere it just makes sense to run it from the short side because you'll see that it takes the receiver a lot longer to cross the field the receiver i'm going to be attacking because of how these receivers are so spread out so if you run it from like the open side of the field it's going to take longer for the play to happen you'll see that when i when i condense this uh when i move this over you'll see how condensed the receiver package is you can see here it's a lot closer together which means it's going to cross the field a lot faster so as far as the setup goes i'm just gonna put the wire out here on a streak or on a fade doesn't really matter Matter, block my tight end, block my running back, and then put the B route here on a slant. Now that slant's gonna be a solid check down if you guess wrong on you know if you don't guess the right defense. Uh, you can also put him in a drag, but against cover two, it's kind of important to put him on a slant. And then you're gonna see if I can just buy time in the pocket, which should be too pretty easy considering how much blocking I gave myself. We're gonna have a wide open receiver coming across the two safeties now. That there, I probably could have threw it a little bit sooner or even a little bit later. But you can see how this receiver gets across once he breaks that uh, that zone chuck there. Once he's about here, I could throw it at any point in time for an easy catch and run. Now, like I said, I could also hold it and wait till he gets you know f further across the field because you can see he's past the other safety. The, the other safety just completely lags off to, and covers nobody. So ultimately, it's really my choice. This guy's open pretty much the entire time. We'll go and we'll do that one more time. And we're gonna see how we're gonna have, you know, pretty much the exact same results. Like I said, the X route there, I could throw this at any point in time. It's really up to me how much of a catch and run I wanna make. But you can see it's wide open. That'll have the exact same effect against cover two man. So let's go and let's pick that again and we'll continue with cover two man. Exact same setup as cover two, just gonna do the, you know, the slant and the, um, the streak combination. That's all I really have to do. So now you're gonna see how once again, this B route here just gets really gone this time. I mean, I don't know why uh, he gets he gets open even easier against cover two man than he did against cover two zone because he was way ahead of the receiver. But we'll do that one more time. Like I said, mostly just blocking. Uh, that's pretty much the, the majority of the adjustment here. As you can see, that X route is wide open again as he's just he just gets behind both safeties at this point. 
Now, against cover three, it is pretty much the same setup, and you just have to put the B route on a streak instead of the Y route. That's pretty much it, and they put the Y route on a slant. I'll block my running back again. The A route actually does a pretty good job of pulling that cover three cornerback, too, so I'm going to leave him alone. And you can see how we have a very easy one-play touchdown over the top against cover three. Now, I threw that ball a little bit late, but you can see it was wide open. Like I was saying, this particular route is one of the better routes in the game at pulling this cornerback to a point where he almost comes to a match because there's nothing over here. If there was somebody else over over here be a different story but since he's the only receiver he's going to pull that cornerback far away from his deep third responsibility and at that point you're just waiting for this receiver to cross over the top and you can see he's like 20 30 yards away there's no way he's going to catch up to this this play is really all about the pass lead that's going to probably be the most important part of this play is you have to get a pretty dramatic pass lead to this x route the more dramatic, the better. As you can see there, we get much better separation from the cover three cornerback. Now, cover three pre-snap looks a lot like cover zero. And now, cover three pre-snap looks a lot like cover one man. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to pick that next. We're going to match with cover one hole. Now, this here, I can attack multiple ways, but I find the best way is to motion this guy across and put the A route on a streak. This is probably going to be the best setup. Uh, you can put your A and your Y route on zigs. Uh, but the B route really is the better route when it comes to attacking man coverage for uh, a one-play touchdown. As you can see right there, he actually got bumped off the route and still made the play. But that route does better against man than the other one does. If you look at the B route and the X route, they really run similar looking routes, but there's a different break point. There's a different angle at which the B route takes, and that makes it a better man beater. It's really that simple. That signifies a better man beating route. So putting the A route on a streak to pull back that cover one safety, uh, and then putting the X and the Y in a combination of drags and slants is really going to be your best option as far as check downs. Really up to you. Uh, but the B route, you can see, I mean, he just cooks this particular defender and he's a very easy one play touchdown against pretty much any man coverage as long as there's no safety over the top you'll see if i do that on the other side if i just run this play as is um the y route or the x route a lot of times doesn't really get the runner's route you can see that they really converge on that so you really can't go that route if you have a fast enough speed advantage you can but it's really better to do it this other way another good option is the the a route's actually a pretty good man beater if you have a, a fast enough tight end a lot of times he can get outside of man coverages so you lose that as well but there's a lot of man options it's just that if you want the one play touchdown the easiest one is to motion this guy across and then just make sure you don't have any deep uh routes to get in the way and you'll see how this b route will just get across the formation a lot easier like i said it looks like he's going to run that route then he just gets out in front of it and we have a very easy catch and run one play touchdown against cover one or cover zero so next up we got cover four uh, we'll start off with cover four match and then we'll work our way back to cover regular. So we're going to go with cover four quarters to start. So we're going to highlight that route one more time. We're going to make that motion across. Like I said, this is the man beating route. This is the best, one of the better man beating routes on the play. I mean, obviously, Earth is a good man beating route as well, but that's the best one play touchdown man beating route. So then we're just going to put the RB route on a curl and the Y route on a curl and put the X route here on a comeback. This is all we really have to do. You're going to see how the X route now is pretty much going to just be wide open after a certain point. Although there, the pressure made me throw it a little bit early, but you can see he's absolutely cooking this cornerback. And if you watch the confusion that this route concept creates, I mean, you can see that this cornerback doesn't even know if that's his responsibility until he's already getting cooked. This setup is probably the best um, where you give yourself a 10-yard uh, a out route on the Y route because if you do that, the running back actually can stay back and block. Even though running backs aren't necessarily the best blockers, um, it's still an additional blocking back. So if I do it like this, uh, we'll have a lot of success where this, this route will still get open and there won't be any safeties over the top of the there. I have the running back blocking and I still probably got the most pressure out of any of the plays that I played there. And then last but not least, we have cover four regular. So we'll go and pick that. To get the cover four regular, we'll have to go into our dime package, 146, and go down to cover four drop. Now, cover four is very different than most defenses where you actually want to run it from the hash mark to the short side of the field. All you have to do for this set is block that tight end one more time, put the Y route on a streak and the B route on a drag, and this is going to be a one-play touchdown against cover four. Pretty easy one at that. As you'll see, this X route, once he crosses that safety, he's well behind the strong safety. By that, I mean the free safety. If we go to the replay, this is all about timing. Once he gets inside of this free safety, you bullet pass lead away, which is basically in the direction to the right. You can see he's well beyond the strong safety. The strong safety will have no chance of flipping his hips and getting into his back pedal. But he doesn't have to be past the free safety. He just has to be inside 
of the free safety. Once he gets inside of the free safety, you can see him already loading up bullet, pass leading inside, and we have a very easy one play touchdown against cover four. It's another play that the pass lead is super critical. If you want to have the A route on a drag too for another check down, you can always do that. I don't think you really need it. I mean, the Y route actually does a pretty good job. You need the running back too. That's somebody I really mentioned. Like in some other plays, you don't need the running back, but in this play, to create that effect, you need that curl route or that swing route. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more from this offense, an entire breakdown with more pass plays, more run plays, uh, hit the like button let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.